In a previous video, I talked about how Apple Home and Home Assistant actually work incredibly well together. And I gave a few examples of features which allow this to happen, like using the HomeKit bridge integration to bring devices back into Apple Home and using Apple Home to track when people are home. So in this video, I'm going to go into a little more depth about how I recommend you do both of these. So let's dive right in with how to set up HomeKit bridges. To set up a HomeKit bridge is really quite simple. Simply go to Settings, Devices and Services, and into Integrations, and then select Add Integration, and type in HomeKit Bridge. It will open a pop-up like this, where you can select the types of devices that you want to include. By default, Home Assistant assumes that you'll group your bridges together by device type, which is one way of doing it, and sensible since there is 150 device per bridge limit that Apple imposes. However, another clever idea I recently learned is to include all device types, then include only the devices in a given room per bridge. Then when we add the bridge into Apple Home, if you add it into the correct room, the child devices will always drop into the relevant room automatically, saving you a lot of admin on the Apple Home side. In order to do this, go into the HomeKit bridge integration, find the bridge that you just created, and click on Configure. This will now give you some new options, and the one that you want is the inclusion mode. So select Include, and then select Submit. This will then take you to a page where you can type in devices you would like this bridge to expose. So go through and add each device in the room that you are creating a bridge for, and then hit Submit a couple more times. Now you're ready to head over to Notifications and scan the HomeKit code and add your bridge to Apple Home. Once you've scanned the bridge in, be sure to drop it into the correct room and name it something sensible. And boom, you're all set. As long as you name all of your devices sensibly in Home Assistant and include them all in the correct bridge, they will automatically pop right into the corresponding room in Apple Home. So now we've covered HomeKit bridges, let's move on to tracking whether people are home using Apple Home. Head back over to Settings, Devices and Services again, then head on over to Helpers, and create a new Toggle Helper. You're going to be creating one of these per person in your Apple Home, so start with yourself. And once you've set these up, you're going to need to either create another bridge to expose these helpers in Apple Home, or include these helpers in one of your existing bridges, I have all of mine go into a HA room in Apple Home in order to keep them all hidden away. Once you have them all appearing through a bridge into Apple Home as switches, you can then easily go and create two automations per person. One which says when this person arrives home, turn on the corresponding switch. And another which does the opposite. When I leave home, turn off my switch. And that's all there is to it. You can now create automations within Home Assistant which trigger when these helper entities change state to on or off, aka someone arrives or leaves. And to trigger when the last person leaves, simply add a trigger per person and conditions for each to say that they are all off. That way, it will only actually trigger when the last person is away. That is all for this video. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and share it with anyone who you think could learn from it. Be sure to follow me on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, X, etc. The links are all over on my website. And if you're able to, please consider supporting the channel in any way that you can from the links over on my website. I now have a subscription option on Patreon and TikTok, and hopefully YouTube very soon, which currently gives you access to my member-only Discord channels, and more to come hopefully in the near future. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, remember, home is where the smart is.